And it's now time for the business review. As the fight against COVID-19 continues, people are relying more on innovation. Andrew Ledley now takes a look at a group of young innovators who are hoping to transform how daily temperature checks are done. Currently, this is how most people are screened before entering any public establishment. But these young engineers at the University of Technology are looking to change that. They are hoping to do it by using this technology. They are calling it a contactless temperature sensor. Head of the team, Carla Capote Bustamante, explains how it works. The device will stand alone, let's say, at the entrance of a building or a supermarket and you just have to put your hand, it reads your temperature and if something is wrong, somebody will come to you and pull you aside. Using a small computer called an Arduino along with the sensors and the lights and we use um, C programming language to program it so it knows what to do. Director at the university's engineering and computing faculty, David White, says it all started with a project which required the students to solve a national problem. After you have mastered the theoretical um, foundations of, of what computing is, we wanted to take that and put our UTEC brand on it, so do something practical and something that can solve a problem, probably for the community, for the university your community, the wider country, or internationally. And um, this was before COVID, <laughs> this was January. They designed the theoretical model, but then when they built the actual right, um, device, I mean, it was just awesome. And then COVID came in right along, so they adapted it. The project has now captured the attention of corporate Jamaica. The possibilities um, for rolling it out uh, uh, across Jamaica are endless. In fact, um, we have one corporate sponsor who is talking to our faculty now to see if they can get this rolled out. Um, this entity is in healthcare and finance and they have asked for it to be rolled out in their entities. The university um, has also asked the students to roll the pilot out and test it in time for the new intake next semester. The students explained that the device is ready for the shelves. They noted that the sensor captures the temperature of the room and that of the individual passing it, all within seconds. Here's what happens if the sensor picks up an elevated temperature. Since we don't have a, a COVID-19 patient, so we'll demonstrate the sensor using hot water. So simulating the sensor with relatively hot water, The cup is kind of there you go. So, so right now it's reading that this is forty-seven point four seven degrees Celsius, which passes a threshold because the actual temperature that we use to measure our fever is around thirty-eight degrees Celsius. The device is relatively affordable. That's why the young engineers are confident that their invention could end up in public spaces across the island. This can help anybody and everybody. In this current pandemic, if you put it at a supermarket, we are monitoring, you're monitoring for your safety. We're trying to make sure that nobody that has a high fever is interacting within your safety. If you were to put it, let's say, uh, where they're keeping all the COVID patients, they can track their temperature regularly without having to come in contact with them, which can cause a spread of the disease itself. If you put it at a school like QTEC, you can monitor the students and stuff to make sure that you're all safe while interacting in the same environment. And the advantage of the device is that it's very portable, so it doesn't have to stay in one place. So if you want to move it, you will be able to move it. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News.